Today, I'm pond hopping, but I'm only allowed to throw topwater lures. Topwater fishing is by far the most exciting way to catch bass. The whole day was non-stop topwater blow up action, besides me getting hooked in the leg. Y'all like my ornament? Oh! Don't try this at home. Now I got a dog barking at me. Won't be barking at the cripple, man. Oh, gosh, that's good. Whenever you're ready. But by the end of the video, we finally got what we were searching for. Oh, it's a giant! Creeping up on these big bass right now. Got our pop and pickle, a little bit of frog action. We're gonna be fishing this little tiny sliver back here in the woods and see if we can catch some of these big bass. But before we start casting this frog around in this creek, it's looking juicy, fish are popping in the background. I got a serious question for y'all. Have you or a loved one been trying to catch some big bass and it's just not happening? Well, I got the solution for you. Introducing the new Big Bass Energy hat by Kicking Their Bass TV, which is available on kickingtheirbass.com. You're gonna be able to put on your big bass energy, go out on the water with that confidence, with that mentality, that dog mentality, and catch them big fish. Go ahead and get your big bass energy on. Available on kickingtheirbass.com. This uh, design right here, guys, I actually designed it um, myself. I didn't hire anybody to design that. This is a brand new silicone PVC hat. Very high quality material on a uh, 112 trucker cap. So if you guys want to check out the new hats, I greatly appreciate it. All jokes aside, but uh, man, without further ado, let's see if we can get our big bass energy on today with this frog. Only throw in top water today. Let's see if we can catch some of these giants, man. Let's get after it. All right, guys, well, let's get this popping and let's see if we can get us some big bass today. So the spot that we're at, we've actually fished a good bit in the past. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. And uh, they actually cleared off all these trees going back into this pocket. So it's going to give us a lot easier access to see if we can catch some of these big fish. Look, there's fish popping right there. I mean, it just looks so good. So it's actually 80 degrees today, which is a big change for what we've been at um, the last couple of months. I mean, the summer was so freaking hot, guys. And I'm just pumped to be out here on a beautiful day. And I'm hoping that these bass are going to be wanting this top water. I'm also repping my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. If you want to check it out, kickingtheirbass.com. And like I said, guys, all jokes aside, if you guys want to check out the new uh, Big Bass Energy hat, I spent a lot of time getting this made for y'all. And uh, that high quality PVC patch is just sick. But without further ado, we need to start casting. There is fish jumping all around us. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, there is so much activity right now. And this popping frog is not the only bait that we're going to be fishing today. We're going to throw a bunch of different top waters. We're just going to cast this around and see if we can get some big ones to react to the frog. Dude, oh my gosh. He was tailing it. He was literally tailing having to reel it in too quick dude that sucks man oh my gosh I keep casting that did not look like a bass I have no idea what that was we need to make sure we don't get too ahead of ourselves here today too just slow down when we need to be very patient you know that's something that I have a hard time doing when I haven't frog fished in a good bit. Like, it's been a minute since I've thrown a frog. And slowing down is not the easiest part. But sometimes that's just what you got to do to get those bites. Oh my god, that was an absolute monster. Oh my god, that was crazy. That was an absolute freak, and I, I believe that was a bass. I have no idea how he didn't get hooked there. Maybe our gut feeling to come out to this spot is going to pay off. Dude, talk about big bass energy right there, son. Oh, my gosh. If that don't get your heart pumping, I don't know what does. That was an absolute freak. So there's one good sign that came out of all of that, and we learned something. Any of these little grass patches, I mean, we got a bite right there when we reeled it in too fast, and that one was right off that corner grass patch. I'm feeling this little spot right here, right under this tree. This ground too, guys, I'm like sinking in. It's a little wet. It's been raining the last five days. Oh my gosh, we got a dangle. Getting a dangle bite would be absolutely insane. Dude, I mean, look at this. 
I'm gonna be honest, this is such a sketchy spot to get a bite in. Especially with this tree, we're like gonna have to hook set slightly sideways, but it's worth the cast. Screw it, we're really going deep in the forest now. It made it a little easy that everything was cut down on that other section. If this is not big bass territory, I don't know what is. Oh God, that's a frog. <laughs> Dude, why do frogs make the weirdest noises? Something stirred up right here too. Something just stirred up. <laughs> Bro, that noise, that's crazy. I love that little grass patch out there too, man. Like how is there not a big fish on that grass patch? I want to see him explode through that stuff. Let's see a blue. There's a blue right there. Oh, oh, that's a frog. Okay. Okay. The frogs are scared of the frog. Make it make sense. If that doesn't tell us that this is a froggy spot, though, like I don't know what does. All right. We're gonna go back, and I want to fish some of that land that's kind of cleared out, and just throw a couple more casts over there. And if we're not having it, we can just move spots. But I just feel like all it takes is one good bite for us to have a big bass right now. Let's go around the island. That hole right there is a little creepy. Let me just squidabble. Let me just squidabble past that. Show me what a big bass can do. All right, this grass patch, I'm feeling this right there. We had two good bites on those other grass patches. And this one's just perfect. All right, guys. Well, we had a couple good bites. We saw a lot of activity. I feel like that's just a good sign in general for today. But we're going to go ahead and move spots. And I have another swampy area picked out that this frog should get munched at. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Ooh. Ooh. Put your hands in the air, boy. Yes, sir. That's crazy, dude. I've never seen a crawfish just cross on the sidewalk. All right, man, I'm going to leave you alone. If it was a live bait video now, you'd be in trouble. I'm just saying, man, you're lucky it's a topwater video today. Well, that was definitely a first. And we are now at a new spot, and this is uh, one of the ponds that get naturally fed by a swamp, pretty similar to the last one. It's got that tannic, swampy water, and I feel like this could be a really good spot for a big frog bass. Come on, old froggy. Give me big bass. I need big bass now. Now we got some sun coming out too. It's been like a gloomy day. Pretty cloudy. And that sun just decided to come out. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing for us or a bad thing. But I'm curious to see how these other ponds here are fishing. Because that last one, we didn't catch a fish, but we had a good bit of bites and there was just activity everywhere. So hopefully that is the trend across all the ponds today. Right there was a bass that we probably could have caught. So if you guys notice what I'm doing, I'm throwing parallel with the bank, but I'm not going right up on the bank. See, if I would have made a cast just like that, I probably would have caught that fish. But since I'm casting more at an angle, you know, that fish never had a line of sight to get attracted by that frog. But one thing to think about is, is throwing parallel to that bank. You don't want to walk up on it how I just did. You want to throw parallel just like that. And any of these fish that are pushed up shallow, you'll be able to target and you won't spook them off like I just did. And with how the weather's been the last five or six days, we had a ton of rain. What comes with a ton of rain is a lot of flooding. So up on these banks, the water's going to be a little bit higher. You can almost tell where either yesterday or the day before the water was actually up to here. So it's gone down a good bit. But when that water's flooded, you'll notice a lot of fish that get pushed up on the bank. It looks like we barely missed that bite. But as you can tell, there's still fish that are pushed up pretty shallow. This is one of those ponds that you don't usually get a ton of bites, but usually when you do, do it's a good one. What was that, bro? <laughs> what is going on? 
That freaking wasp or something? Dude, I ain't playing around with that, man. You guys know a couple months back, I got stung by a bunch of hornets, dude. I got them mad. I ain't dealing with that, bro. All right, boys and girls. This is the third spot, and I'm about to hit them boys with that third time's a charm right up in here, man. We got our popping pickle still. We're going to throw it around in this pocket for a little bit. If that is not working, we actually brought out an old mock patroller and this is in chrome you know that sun's out right now and that should be a good color well, let's go ahead and throw this frog i just want to see if we can catch one man and up in this pocket there's a good bit of grass it looks like the perfect spot to try to get one on this popping pickle a little boil right there If that doesn't tell us enough, I don't know what does. We need to cut this frog off. That doesn't mean that we're not going to throw it here later in the video. But let's switch up to that mock patroller. Come on, patroller. Do your magic. Last couple times I came out to this pond, it's been months. But we did really good on top water. Here goes nothing. Watch our first cast. We just get hammered. See, that's the one thing with throwing this versus the frog in here. There's just a lot of grass. It's not as bad as it was, though. It used to be horrible in here. Oh, there we go. There we go. He ate that so far out there, man. But that is our first fish, and we're just going to skate him in, man. Oh yeah, baby, come here. Come here, baby. Give him a little skate. A little tiny guy. That is not a big one, but guess what? That is a fish. And he about threw the bait right into my face. Holy cow. All right, that's definitely a catch, man. He was on the bank. We didn't touch him, but he was on the bank. And that is our first fish of the day on the mock patroller in Chrome. This sun just started peeking through good. Right when that sun peeked through those clouds, boom, we got a bite. Maybe that's all we needed to get some momentum here. So we've been giving this bait just a good old steady retrieve, just like that. But it's one of those things, if they're not biting top water too good today, we might need to throw it out there like this and just kind of pop it and let it sit, rip it, let it sit. You know, give, it, give it to them a little bit slower. Could increase our bites here. In the first cast that we were doing that, oh, that is not good, bro. The hook is in me. Well, you know what's crazy? This ain't the first time it's happened over here. That is not good. Okay. Well, these pliers don't have the best uh, cutters on there. So we actually need to go get our other cutters and we need to somehow walk our way back that is not good man why did that have to happen and it's like all the way through we cannot have just a good flawless day of fishing something has to happen we are going to <laughs> walk back just like this to go get our cutters i wish i could just rip it out but that ain't gonna happen and she all the way through okay well let's do this let's grab our line of course it's in my knee where my skin bends too that's not the best spot. What in the world, boys? I did not expect this to happen. Dude, it hurts so bad dangling there. Cut it off with these. I just know these aren't the best. Okay, that's not gonna work. Just remember, boys, slow and steady wins the race. Well, we had that big bass energy on today, and I got me a big and that's for sure. We got about a 170 pounder right here, so. I bet there's people in the houses next to me that are looking like, what is this man doing? Just. All I gotta do is just leave me alone right now. It's a personal matter. Y'all like my ornament? Oh, God, dude. I gotta stop playing, that hurts so bad. Oh, that just made it so much worse. I stepped on my dang braid. Give me my braid. Oh my goodness. This is not fun. Don't try this at home. Now I got a dog barking at me. Don't be barking at the cripple, man. Just give me some time. I'm walking like I have a dang corn dog up my keister, dude. We are almost there. Oh yeah, home sweet home. All right, what are we gonna do here, Noah? What are we gonna do? First things first, we're going to 
cut our bait off my rod. That, that is so helpful. There we go. The one thing is these pliers are good at cutting, but my other pliers have splittering deals on them. So I'll be able to take this hook off. What is this moment without posting a picture for the gram, man? Now these pliers are horrible. I got a surprise coming for y'all soon, so just stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I gotta use these pliers. All right, boys, I wanna show y'all. That's what we're dealing with right there. Get a little closer shot. I'm having to get Tara to bring me some dang, uh, some wire snippers, something that I can cut through this because I can't get the split ring off of these pliers. So I'm just waiting. <laughs> it's just a waiting game. I'm ready to get this dang thing out of me, dude. I hate like sitting here with this thing just sitting in me. That's a tough one. It's like, I feel like I can get it through, but just like the mental capacity to stick a hook through yourself is not. Oh gosh, that's good. I wish I just had a razor blade. I feel like it went through a little more, don't you think? Maybe. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go a quick method. I don't like what's happening here. Yeah, you're gonna have to yank it out of me as hard as you can. It's just what's what it's gotten to. You're gonna have to yank it out of me as hard as you can. You're not gonna yank it. I ain't yanking it. You're in duty. How am I looking? Big Bass Energy hat good. If there's a reason for you guys to get the Big Bass Energy hat, man, I told you it catches giants. Caught a hundred, 170 pounder today. Okay, all jokes aside, let's lock in. So if you guys ever have this situation, as you guys can tell, hook in your leg. I'm gonna show you a method that I use a good bit. I've used either method of yanking it out or pushing it all the way through. In this case, I just don't know if I have the balls to push it all the way through, nor do I think Tara does. So we're just gonna, we're gonna tie this on. So we're just gonna add a couple different knots here. This is the big thing. You want to make sure that this is tied on this hook. Like you don't want to mess up with your knot in this situation because then you're, you're gonna be hurting. Okay, so we're gonna do three heavy loop knots just like that. If you guys watch this hook, I'm gonna angle this down. I'm gonna put my finger down on it and then what's gonna happen is she's gonna yank and it should technically pull the hook out. And it's in a weird spot, so I'm a little concerned, but yeah, it should pull it right out. Whenever you're ready. One, two, three. Just like that. You did it. Yay. You did it. Yep, just like that. That wasn't bad. It wasn't too bad, <laughs> no. So that that is the thing, guys. When you have this hook lodged in your leg, if you tie it around, and, and I want you guys to pay attention when I held it down with my hand, that was a very important thing to do because if I didn't, that hook could possibly not drive all the way out. But yeah, she pulled it one flush time. As you can tell, she came in, boom. You're right out. I yanked her. Heck yeah, good job. Thank, thank you for <laughs> saving the day. I don't know where that hook's at. Oh, I got, a, I got a hook in my shoe. Golly. All right, boys, girls, ladies and gents, we are back. So my knee is all good. It's, it's bleeding a little bit here and there. Put some peroxide on it just in case. You never know what's in the water or just rusted hooks, which... The bait was brand new, it shouldn't have had rusted hooks, but we got us a brand new mock patroller on, so we had to cut that other hook off, and uh, we are good to go, man. And it is time for us to get after some good fish. It has been an eventful day, but we are not gonna stop. We're gonna keep, uh, even, even with that horrible cast, we're gonna keep this positive attitude and uh, keep our confidence here. And I still have high hopes in us catching some big fish today. So let's get it started here. Let's cast around this bridge. See if we can catch a fish or two and keep this going. Oh my gosh, look at the bait. This is looking spectacular. Oh, look at that huge boil, two big boils. Come on, smoke this thing. And I don't know if you guys can tell now, the sun's starting to go down and this might be prime time for this top water. There's another big fish up in that grass. Oh my gosh. It's crazy, man. Our timing right now. Come on.
Oh, that was a monster. Oh, she missed it. Dude, he like, oh, he's still behind it, bro. He was still behind it right there. Hold on. My bait was tangled up. He was still chasing it. Let's see if he gets it right here. That was a good fish. Oh, man. He followed it in when it was uh, sinking below the surface. Dude, he came airborne for that thing. Day number two of fishing with this top water for some of these pond monsters. We still have my kicking combo. We have that mock patroller on there, but we're gonna tie back on the pop and pickle. We are actually at the same spot that we started out the other day. And we had a couple really good blow ups and we're gonna see what we can do to get one of these big fish to bite. Dude, look at that. Tell me that's not a good sign. So one thing that I notice about this pond is that there's a lot of dragonflies flying around. And I want to say that that was a fish coming up trying to eat a dragonfly. So we just need to work slow and methodical here. Oh shoot, there's a gator right there, son. There is a Mick Gatorson right there. Something about throwing a top water when gators are nearby. They just go a little crazy, man. Oh yeah. Ooh, what? Come on. Something was biting my leg, dude, right when he bit me. Bro, what? That was two insane blow ups and he just totally missed the bait. Let's get back in there, dude. Come on. I do not get how they're missing this frog. Can we not do that? Can we just not? Thank you. I'm waiting on this little gator to move out of the way, man. Before we throw on this grass line where we got absolutely plopped the other day, I'm trying to get him to move away because I don't want him to chase the frog when we were in perfect striking zone. Whew. I think that was a snake. Please no snakies today. No snakey. No slithery boys. And we just got eaten. Oh my god. Got him. Come on, boy. Let's go, baby. Not a big one. But he smoked that frog, man. He smoked that pop and pickle, baby. Let's go, man. It's taking him like three different hits. To actually eat it but right up there in that shade and that is not a big bass by any means but super fat and healthy thank you so much baby that is a good start at this pond i'm just glad we actually caught one and to catch a fish on a frog that is just so much fun thank you baby there she goes to be honest too guys that gator's been a good boy man he didn't try to run after us he didn't try to do nothing and that right there is a great sign coming back in this pocket, man. Like I said, a lot of shade, shallow water. Hopefully we're going to get some more bites on this frog. Oh, it's a giant. Oh my gosh. It's a mud fish. Oh my gosh, it is a giant mud fish. Dude, that is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. That was the craziest frog bite I've got in, in probably a couple years. Oh my gosh, look at how giant that thing is. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Oh man. There he goes. Oh, that's a big boy. Look at him. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> what a fish what a bite and more importantly what a fight man totally destroyed our frog here but i think we're good man yeah she's still good to go oh my gosh listen if that does not get your adrenaline pumping i don't know what does let's just uh keep on casting let's see if we can get another bite because i understand that we're targeting bass today but <laughs> that, that had to have been one of the most intense topwater blowups I've ever had. And I didn't mind catching him at all. Those fish are nasty, man. Super invasive. But dude, 
I did not mind catching that right there. That was just an intense blow up. Big blow up. Oh my God, that, dude, that's definitely a bass chasing bait. Did you see that? Come on. Dude, he took off. See, we definitely need to throw that patroller as well. This frog is really good in these shady, shallow areas. But as far as fish chasing bait like that, it's definitely a good idea to pull out that patroller. Oh, dude, I just flung my frog 50 foot this way, dude. Oh my gosh. Come here. No, no, no. We are not fishing for squirrels. We are fishing for fish. All right, guys. Well, we caught two fish. We got a bass and a giant mudfish just with an insane blow up. But we are going to leave the spot, go to another one. I just feel like there's so many mudfish in different species flopping around out here. I don't know. I feel like we can catch more bass at a different spot and more importantly, find a really big one. So let's go ahead and move. Dude, this pond is looking so juicy. I've actually never fished this thing before. But it looks spicy, man. This looks absolutely fire. And there's actually a pipe over to my left, too. That looks promising. And there's some bluegill actually swimming right there by my feet. Oh, some just hit it. Come on. He's kind of pecked at it. It might be like a little bluegill. All right. We gotta go up in the trees here. There's also that pipe I was talking about. Down here. Screw it, dude. We're gonna skip right up on that pipe. Dude. That looks so good. Come on. How is there not a big bass in that pipe? Like, if there's anywhere in this pond where I just think there would be a fish, it'd be in front of that pipe. Here we go. Oh my gosh. First of all, I had no room to hook set. Second of all, I don't think he had it all the way. That was like the awkwardest hook set I've ever done. We're gonna stand on this pipe right here. Little dangerous, but at least we'll have a little more room to hook set. We got like trees right above us too. We're in a weird spot to set the hook, especially on a frog. Just makes this even more challenging, man. I like it. Oh, there we go. Come here, boy. Not a big one, but that was sick, dude. Oh my gosh. Little tiny guy smoked the frog. The real question is, was this the same fish that bit me the cast before? I don't know. But pretty bass right there on the frog, man. Skinny body, super slim, pretty big mouth but very beautiful markings and colors. Look how healthy that fish is. Other than him being a little skinny, just so healthy. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, buddy. Not a big one, but any bass we catch on a frog is just a good time, man. Let's go. We just gotta get back in there. We might've found the little honey hole. Two bites in that one spot, which that could have been the same fish. It could have been keep on casting over there there's like a little lay down little tree in that corner the bad part about this pond like i feel like we could get on the other side of the bank it's just we would have to go all through the woods am i wanting to do that right now i don't really know i guess we'll see if we can get around there but this is really the only accessible water is on this bank let's look at that there's a little boil up here on the left side we're gonna cast in on that I just can't believe we haven't got a bite up in this grass. Oh, there it is. Let's go, baby. Another small one, but he ate it up in that grass. Let's go. Dude, we might've just found us a little frog hole, man. Oh my gosh, dude, they're smoking this thing. 
like i said not big but just this one's a lot healthier a lot fatter and just pretty fish man let's go man come on these are not the giants that we're looking for today but i'll tell you they're fun thank you baby let's go man and that one was up in the grass we were just saying that i'm like i can't believe like this isn't prime grass by any means but like where there's grass there's bass so i want you guys to think about something right now the only reason we caught that fish was because we were paying attention we saw a little boil up on that bank we decided to make a small precise cast and then boom we caught another fish so that's just something to think about when you're on the water you got to be paying attention any little things like that that you notice could change your day so us noticing that little boil which was kind of hard to see man it was like that branch was blocking it but i saw the boil and then boom we caught a fish because of it well, let's keep on working this frog and maybe we can get into a bigger one i have a hard time believing this pond doesn't have any big fish <gasps> dude look at that they're loaded in this corner that one's a little better it's so hard for me to reel <laughs> oh gosh dude we were smoking them ah oh, she about the same size dude she about the same size i didn't even move that frog man right up in that grass <laughs> oh gosh dude this corner is absolutely loaded bro it is loaded not with the big ones but it is loaded come on there's got to be a big one over there we're gonna keep on casting man you don't get up in there a little more man right up on that tree and grass a little bit of tree and grass combo meal right there son come on oh baby that was a better bite totally missed it just took my frog underwater i was actually walking at that time dude we've been popping it this whole time got a little bit of water in my frog dude oh yeah Let's throw one more cast in this corner, then we're gonna keep on moving. We just haven't got the size that we want in here. It was fun, don't get me wrong. Awesome bites. Most action we've seen back to back to back all day. But we gotta find those bigger ones. Let's keep on moving. Oh, look at that boil. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh my goodness, dude. That was our first cast in this pond. Dude, she was so shallow on that grass. She came all the way out and hit it like three times. Dude, look at that boil. There's definitely fish up in this grass. Dude, I have one chase me up right there. You see that boil? Right when I was reeling it in. Come on, come back for it. Just got a little too excited. I was working it a little too fast. Oh my gosh, I about took my head off. I do not think that was a big one. But I didn't get nothing in that fish. Just straight air power for the frog there dude he ate it as soon as i threw up there it was just so far i went to pop it and i just felt him i think he spit it out right when he felt me all right it's time to move a lot of action no fish got some grass finally some good looking grass too boy just like that come on baby <clears throat> let's go son man not big but look at how he ate that he couldn't have ate it any better man perfect hookup he ate that thing good too man right out of that grass <laughs> 